What's up everybody, Tony here with Hitech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at some clear TPU covers for your brand new Apple Watch Series 7 45mm edition. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick these up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So these TPU cases are a pretty simple and expensive way to totally protect your Apple Watch especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the package here. So here we have the installation guide and we have three of our covers here. And they come packaged individually, which is pretty nice. So here's what the covers look like. They are very uh, flexible, but as you can see, they do have a cover for all the way around your Apple Watch, which is pretty nice. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you clean off your screen really well because anything that's on the screen will be trapped uh, underneath the little cover uh, once you put it on. So make sure you don't touch the underside of the cover and make sure your screen is totally cleaned off. Okay, so once you have your Apple Watch screen all cleared off, you're going to want to make sure you don't touch the screen or touch the underside of the cover here. So the way that you want to install this is you want to put the top portion of the watch with the crown in first so we'll go ahead and slip that underneath the little TPU screen here and we'll just push this forward until the crown is kind of inside the little hole there okay now what you're going to want to do here once you have the top portion is you want to pull this little uh, TPU portion here and we're going to want to pull it up and over our watch, making sure it doesn't get stuck uh, inside the section where your watch band goes because once that happens, it might be a little hard to take out. So there we have the cover on our watch. Okay, and you can kind of uh, maneuver it in place a little bit if you need, if everything doesn't line up. Uh, properly which it should but okay so now we have it on the watch now we'll go ahead and put on our band which you can easily slide in and out uh, once the cover is on you don't need to take it back off to take the bands off which is pretty nice so there you have it on okay so that's what it looks like on our wrist here uh, as you can see there are a whole bunch of little dots uh, on the screen there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's to keep the rainbow effect down, which is a good thing because you don't want that when you're looking at a clear screen. So go ahead and try out our crown. As you can see, the crown scrolls without any issues, which is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and test out the touch. Touch seems to be working. Go ahead and pick something out here. Display brightness. Always on. Turn that down a little bit. Touch seems to be working just fine. Buttons seem to be working as well. No issues there. There you go. As you can see, there's the top portion. So as you can see, the watch is totally covered uh, 360 degrees. Here's a little closer view here. We'll turn on the watch. And if you look in the bottom here, a wireless charging is not affected because the whole bottom portion there is exposed. So you don't have to worry about a uh, wireless charging not working either. And just so you guys can see that it actually is working, here is the wireless charger for the Apple Watch. It charges without any issues. And then if you need to take off your bands, as you can see on the bottom here, there's like this little clear button. All you need to do is press, uh, press in on that and you can easily slide out your watch bands without having to take off the cover. So now I want to show you the scratch resistance of this protector. I'm going to just use a key to kind of simulate you having your watch maybe in your pocket with your keys or a book bag or something like that. So as you can see on the 
protector right now. There are no scratches. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the key a little bit. So I was uh, rubbing it uh, fairly hard uh, just to kind of give you guys an, an idea of what uh, would happen on this screen protector if you were to actually have them. So as you can see, you can still see the scratches uh, on the protector, but that is only on the protector itself. It didn't actually scratch the screen of the watch, so I definitely rather have my watch protected and switch out the protector versus, versus having to swap out my actual screen on my watch. And just to show you guys, this is still the same protector with the scratches. I'm gonna go ahead and take off uh, this little case now. And then the way that you wanna take this off is you just kinda of take that same uh, little piece at the bottom here and just kinda of pull it up over the top and it easily comes off the watch. And as you can see, the watch screen is in perfect condition, no scratches uh, whatsoever. And here was the case uh, that it was on. So it definitely does what it says it will do and it will definitely uh, protect your screen from uh, any damage. So again, I will be putting links for these protectors in the description in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.